I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on indices and thirds. Here is a challenge question for you. I have actually made two questions here so that you understand the strategy from the solution of the first question. Apply the strategy and solve the second one. That's the whole idea. Okay, so the questions are given square root of 10 minus 2 square root 21 is equal to a minus b square roots both, right? Find the value of a and b. And question number two is, given square root of 23 minus 6 square root of 6 minus 4 square root 2 equals to square root of a plus square root of b, find the value of a and b, right? So you can actually pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. So let's solve the question number one first, right? So let's see what is the answer for that. So we are given square root of 10 minus 2 square root of 21. And this is equal to square root of A minus square root of B. Well, what we could do is square both sides. So if I square both sides, so that is the strategy. So we are doing square both sides. Okay, so in that case, we get 10 minus 2 square root of 21. And here, what do you get? So here, so you understand what I'm doing, right? So I basically, I'm squaring this. So I got rid of this square root here. But on this side, when I square, I get a trinomial, right? Three terms. So the three terms will be square of square root of A, right? Square of this will be A, correct? minus 2 times square root of AB, when you multiply them, you get square root of AB, plus square of this term, which is B, right? Now let's look into the right side. We can combine A and B, so we get A plus B and minus 2 times square root of AB. So we get something like this. Now, you will notice that the constant term of 10 can be equated to a plus b and the term here which is 2 square root 21 could be equated to 2 square root a b. Now if you compare what do you notice? Well clearly when you compare this you notice that the number 10 is the sum of these two numbers. So we notice that 10 is equal to a plus b, right? This number 10 is sum of a and b. And this 2 and 2, which is outside, gets cancelled, which is 2, right? Inside term 21 is product of a and b, right? So inside 121 is product of a and b. So the idea here is to get hold of two numbers whose sum is 10 and whose product is 21. Now, the numbers which we, we can work with is 7 times 3. Now, 7 times 3 is equal to 21 and 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. That means one of the numbers is 7, the other one is 3. Does make sense to you? Now, since this is positive, bigger number should be A, right? So, therefore, I can now write this as, as equal to what? I could write this as 7 plus 3 minus 2 times within square root 7 times 3. Do you see that? It matches. So we do get 10 minus 2 square root 21. Perfect. So, so we get our result. So the answer for us is that A should be equal to 7 and b should be equal to 3. So that is our solution. Is that clear? Right? So that is our solution. Now it is very important to understand that from this particular solution, now onwards, if I have something like this, I could equate this, let us say, in general, if I have something like this, k 
times 2 square root L. If I have an equation like this, is equal to square root of A minus square root of B. In that case, what is K and L relation with A and B? Well, that is clearly shown here. You get the idea, right? So that is what you have to understand. So, so we understand now that the value of K is sum of these two. So we understand from here, let me write down here that K is equal to A plus B and L is equal to A times B. Is that clear? So that is our rule for solving such questions. So this number is sum of these two and the number inside with two outside is the product of A and B. Perfect. So we are going to apply this rule to solve question number two. Is that clear? So A equals to seven, B equals to three is the solution for the first one. So we got this one, A equals to seven, B equals to three. Now we have to figure out this one. I like you to apply this rule and then try to get the solution. Let's move on to the next page for the solution. Now for question number two, what you could do is, you could square both sides, just as we did last time, and then get your solution. You may have to square two times, right? Now, that will involve a lot of work and calculation, but you'll surely get your answer. The other thing which you could do is the rule or a formula which we learned, and the formula is like this. If we have anything like k minus 2 square root of L equals to square root of A minus square root of B, that means what? That means that A plus B should be equal to k and A times B should be equal to L. That is what it is. Correct? So we are going to use this rule to solve right and we are going to do it in two steps so we are given the equation as square root of 23 minus 6 times square root of 6 minus 4 square root of 2 right so these are all square roots and all these are equal to square root of a plus this time square root of b so the strategy here is to first work with this formula k minus 2 that means will work only with this half inside term right and then we'll tackle the other half correct is that clear okay so so we'll work use this space and work with what i just marked that is the inside term which is square root of 6 minus 4 square root 2 what is this equal to, right? So we have a question within a question. And that part will help you practice this particular rule. And that's why I took it like this. Correct? So now you should pause the video, answer your question. So the first step here is, do you see 2 here, but 4 here? Let's rewrite. So I could rewrite this as square root of 6 minus. If I write 2, I can take 2 inside as 4. So I get 8 square root here. Does it make sense to you? Very critical step. 8 is 4 times 2. So I can always take out 4 and write 2 times 2 4. So it's equivalent. Is it okay? Now I'm going to apply the rule which is clearly saying that I could write this as now a and b is written there. So I'm saying let this be square root of p minus square root of q. Right? p and q. So in that case, we know that P plus Q should be equal to 6 and P times Q should be equal to 8. Now what are your magic numbers? 6 and 8 means 4 and 2, right? So 4 and 2, P has to be greater, right? So P is greater than Q, so P is 4. So we get 4 plus 2 equals to 6. It works. And therefore... I could now write square root of 6 minus 4 square root of 2 as equal to square root of 4 minus square root of 2. 
Well, square root of 4 is only 2. So, I will write 2 minus square root of 2. Is that correct? Now, that is the substitution which I am going to make here. And therefore, I could now write this as square root of 23 minus 6 times what? 6 times this, which is 2 minus square root of 2. Does that make sense? Do you get the idea? Right? So, so I basically simplified my question, worked it out, right? Made it like a standard formula which we just derived. And now I think it is simpler. You get the idea, right? So we worked on this inside term and got that as equivalent to 2 minus square root 2. And then we substituted back. Now, we have to again easily make it like this. So let's do this work. So that means I could now write this as 23 minus, let's open the bracket. So that becomes minus 12 minus minus plus 6 square root 2, right? So we'll work with this. So that means square root of 23 minus 12 is 11, right? And here we have plus, we want only 2 here. That means that 3 will go inside as 9. So we get 18. That is a critical step which some of you might not get. But work on it, right? 6 can be written as 2 times 3. Keep 2 outside, 3 inside. 3 inside will be 9. 9 times 2 is 18. Is that clear now? Right. So, so we want just this to be square root of A plus B, right? Now... Is it similar to what we had? Yes, it is. So what should I do? Simple. I will say A plus B should be 11 and A times B should be 18. The two numbers are 9 and 2, right? 9 and 2 can work for us. And therefore, A is 9, right? So A equals to 9 and B equals to 2. You can check, right? So 9 and 2 will definitely give us the same answer. So this is square root of 9 plus square root of 2, right? Well, that will work out to be 3 plus square root 2. That's a different story. However, the value of A and B is 9 and 2. Do you see how we can solve it? Otherwise, it's a very, very difficult question. So we didn't even have to square it square of square this time since now we know our rule so if you can apply this rule in multiple choice questions you can easily find an answer without any problems correct so i hope that really helps feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great and keep sharing such beautiful questions thank you and all the best